Hey, what's up? This is Jibre. Welcome to Brand Media Creatives with yet another amazing video. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing by hitting on that red subscribe button. Give us a like, share our videos, and don't forget to also give your experience how I lost my job with Qatar Airways. That is something really I don't even want to remember. That is a mistake I made that I'm going to share with you today. I don't really want to remember this. But for your knowledge, I told you I want to give you my life. I will share it. So, Qatar is a big company, is an award winning company, one of the biggest and the largest company in the world. So, I got this opportunity to work with it, and I believe that by working with Qatar, I was going to advance, uh, get advanced on my tourism and travel and everything that I really wanted. And I felt like, no, this was a very good opportunity to venture into. So, I work, so I work with the hospitality company, and I felt like, no, this getting this job was an advancement for me i applied this job online and i got an email that really surprised me and i was invited for a video online a one-on-one -on -one online video interview i was so glad i really did research i took time to research what was needed the things that i needed to say and what time what tools did I need? Did I need a camera? Did I need a mobile phone? Did I need this? Did I need this requirement? And after that, I was ready for the video. They gave me a date, which I selected by myself on the appropriate time, and I was set for the video interview. I did the interview and waited for like another five days. Those were my horrible five days. Imagine a job that you really wanted. Now you do the interview, what next? They have, uh, normally the interview stops at the application. If they're not going to take you, they normally reply and tell you, no, we are sorry, you cannot proceed. So I was waiting there five days while they got held on me. After five days, I got another this very handsome email back. They told me, you are proceeding to the next step of hiring. Though sudden for me, it was said that I was going, the event was going to happen in Hilton back in Kenya and I was in Qatar I even had that in mind like I, I must go for this interview even if it was going to involve me traveling back to my country which is Kenya lucky enough they called me back again and even text me on whatsapp and they told me if you are around we can send you a location and you come for the interview in our offices this was a very nice message that I liked that time I kept waiting for the day. They called me like two days early, so I really waited for this day. So I went to their offices, following the location. I went there like an hour early. I've got to play these pictures. That is when I was there waiting. It was uh, in an, uh, a building. I was in ground floor. There was a coffee shop there. I was just waiting and eager for that interview. So after that, a lot was running up in my mind. Like I, I was prepared. I, I felt like I have done enough research, I was prepared for this work, so I was not tensed, I was not tensed, I had gained my courage, I know what they expected, I know the job that I was going to do, because I was working in the same field and I felt like I was so much ready for this. The time reached, it was around afternoon, and I went up, it was up in a floor, almost the ninth floor, so I went up. I, I, I kept going up, coming down, going up, coming down, at least past time and to get familiarized with the place, which also was a, a good tip for me. Also checking on my CVs, making sure I had no mistake, but there's something I forgot and this costed me this job and I'm going to tell you at the end of this video. Keep watching, don't forget to subscribe. So, at the, when the time reached, that is what is the time now for the interview, I walked up. I found uh, I found that in the reception. I found the receptionist girl. I told them I'm here. I was called for for the interview. Uh, this is my name, and uh, this guy is the, uh, the person I'm supposed to meet. The lady forwarded my papers, and in two minutes I was being called. So when they are so courageous, I asked for the interview. They asked me questions. I answered with a lot of courage, and I felt like they had no option but give me this job. So this is the mistake I made. This is the mistake that really costed me this job of my dreams, let me say like that. The mistake that I made is, I passed the interview, really I passed the interview 100%, but this mistake that I made was, I stated salary that was far above them. I didn't take much time to do the research of how much was the salary. That was what costed me. 
how much was the salary I didn't feel you know my assumption was a little big high and that really costed me that job and I regret even today for that stating the salary that they could not reach their limit like it was not too huge but I felt like they wanted a certain figure of salary to work with and those who say those who are the other such of it I'm sure they got the job that really costed me their job. So today I did this video to personally tell you if you're going to venture into employment industry, you really have to do research before going into these interviews. And this are this very small mistake that are really going to cost you. I really have wanted to work with Qatar Airways. Of course, I will be very happy working with such a big company. But I believe like if I did make this mistake, I'll be having this job. So after then, they didn't really, they promised to call me, like in a two days time, and they never did, of course, and I knew really, after that I did a research, and I found out that I just was feeling I did it mistakenly, I, I was feeling like that was the mistake I did. So I went by, looked for somebody who works on the same field, and they told me the kind of salary, I was a little bit high, and I felt like, no, I've lost this job, they did definitely call me back. So, that was it. That was it. That's how I lost the job, really. That is how I lost the offer. <laughs> if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. That was my time as Shibre. I really want us to develop that relationship together. Joining my communities by subscribing, by hitting on the subscribe button. This is my time. I'll be doing more great things. I'll be educating you more. We'll be knowing each other more. Everything that I'll be doing, I'll be updating you. Be my part of my family. Thank you so much. That was my time as Shibre.